Well, let's take an inside look at ProPresenter 5. For all of you ProPresenter 4 users, these are going to be brand new features in ProPresenter 5, as well as upgrades to features you've already seen in the past. So let's get started by checking out the changes to the interface. This is the new updated interface for ProPresenter 5. And the first thing I want to point out is the new resizable preview region. So if I drag this down, you'll notice that our preview area is going to resize so we can see an even larger preview. Also, if we skip past the library and down to the playlist area, you'll see a new playlist only button, which allows us to remove distractions so we only see the playlist we're currently working with. Also down here in the lower left hand corner you'll see a gear icon where we can create a new planning center online playlist, a new group folder, a new playlist, and a new document. Now let's check out the new document window where we can not only set the title but we can also select which template we want to use, what category this is in, and even what size the document is. Now dragging and dropping inside Pro 5 couldn't be easier. In the past you had to use the command key. Now all I have to do is click and drag over the slides that I want to move and click and drag them into place. It's as easy as that. The last thing that's been updated is localization. ProPresenter 5 is now natively localized not only in English but in Spanish and Korean. So if your machine is set to Spanish or Korean, ProPresenter 5 will be set to that. So this isn't a setting inside ProPresenter but this is a global setting for your Macintosh.